What's happening everybody? This is Brian over at BPL Sports Cards and Collectibles coming back to you with another video. Today we are going to continue our saga of opening up mail. Another mail day. We've got plenty of it here. Another good chunk of mail. Um, in our search for more 90s basketball cards, more inserts, and I believe I have another slew of uh, low-end Michael Jordan cards that I have coming in starting to put a stash away for him as you can see this is from our last one uh, quite a few of them I'm gonna keep building a pretty good stash of them and uh, hang on to them for a while see what they do but before we get into that stop by the uh, the Facebook page and Instagram accounts give those guys a follow and a like and um, Give the video a like. Give a, a thumbs up for this video if you if you like what's going on, and be sure to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that notification bell so that whenever I post something, you guys get notified of it and you'll be able to watch it as soon as it gets posted. So, without further ado, we're going to get into a bunch of these small envelopes here and uh, see what we got coming in. Like I said, we've been uh, kind of going for a lot of low end Michael Jordan cards, being one right here. At least it's in a top loader this time. That's always a plus. Of course, the top loader is not the greatest in the world. I'm going to take it right out of there and give her a new sleeve. And this is the Topps Stadium Club. And it is the 96-97 set. Nice good picture of him dunking on the Sixers. Uh... Another, I think, undervalued card, and that's kind of my focus. Uh, my focus is getting undervalued Jordan cards right now, uh, simply because they're so hot with the uh, with the release of the um, the Last Dance documentary on Netflix. Uh, it's just gonna drive popularity up even farther than it is already now. Um, let's see here. It looks like. Corners are all set, so we're going to put in a sleeve. Nice new clean sleeve. It's always good to have nice new shiny stuff on them. Uh, into the next one. This could be a Jordan or it could be a 90s insert. And I'll get into the reasoning as to why I wanted the 90s inserts. Those things are all becoming very popular too. They're becoming more increasingly harder to get, but I'm, I've been able to get my hands on a, some of them, and I have a whole bunch coming in the mail. So this appears to be one of them. Uh, taped in there very well, apparently. And this is from... Get all stuff out of it. Uh, this is the... Clear Ultra, uh, 99 2000 set, and this is uh, Good Looks, Grant Hill. So this is the start of a a nice little uh, stash of 90s inserts, kind of aiming for mid 90s, like 96 or 95 to you know late 90s, 99. Uh, hoping that we can get some decent players. Grant Hill is one of them, or one of those players. So, I'm trying to go for those mids to, if you can get your hands on some high end stuff. Here's another Jordan. Actually, a couple different cards I got going on in here. Send some. We have. I'll probably get them out without damaging. Okay, we got two cards. First one being the 92-93 Fleer Ultra, Michael Jordan. I've always liked this card. The look of it was always nice. It just it, for the time that it was released, it just looked really. It looked different than some of the other cards. A lot more color. It's a lot of more flash. That's the back side of it. Obviously, by now everybody knows what it looks like. But uh, that you know. I had this card probably multiple times and multiple copies of it at one point and ended up getting rid of it. But uh, 
Now that I'm old enough to uh, get back into the hobby and do what I want to do with it and get some of those, recoup some of those cards back then that I had previously. Another 90s card, uh, Flare Showcase, Kevin Garnett, uh, recently elected to the Hall of Fame and played for the Timberwolves and the Celtics. And this is the 97-98 Showtime. Row 3, Section 2, Seat 4. And these just look really nice. The photos are nice. The, the technology for the time in the mid-90s, uh, the photos and the photography were really, really kind of cool looking. And you can't blame them. And this is a good looking card. I like that one. So that's another one I'll probably, like I said, I'll stash and, and put aside for the time being. As I start amassing quantities of these type of cards. Another 90s insert. We have a, a Carl Malone entry here. And I already have a couple of these type of this insert set already, but uh, get the tape off. Let's see how the edges are on this one as well. Since it's it's got foil and and stuff like that on it. I want to see the condition of the card. But uh, 94, 95 Fleer Ultra, Ultra Power insert. And you can, if the light can catch it, you'll see the the sparkle kind of effect. It's got that sunburst kind of look. And there's the back side of it. So another cool insert to have. Put them all in fresh sleeves. That way they're on display a little better. There's another one. So we're three deep into our 90s inserts, and we have a couple of Jordans so far. On to the next one. It's always securely taped. Uh, let's see here. We've got a couple of more Jordans here. I'm going to get this opened carefully without damaging anything. these out. Okay, one is from the 92-93 Upper Deck Basketball set. This is a subset. Uh, game Faces. This was another popular card back then for that set. Again, not an insert, but it seems like all the subsert sets are, or cards are going for good money as well. And this is one of those low-end ones you, you, you can get probably pretty easily at this point. So, I, I, that's another good looking card. And the second one of this lot is a die cut. And this is Upper Deck. The Jordan Years. And this one is commemorating the four time NBA Finals champion. And a die cut. Looks like the corners are pretty sharp, actually. And the, uh, the surface looks doesn't, doesn't look too bad. A cut above. So, that'll be another one we stash aside. All the other Jordans we got going on in here are soon to be coming. And I keep randomly getting them as I see them pop up, or I'll randomly search them. Uh, 90s insert. Sir Charles. Another Fleer Flare card. Uh, this is the Hardwood Leaders, and this is from 95-96. And we got lots of good corners, no chipping, surface looks nice. I like the hardwood uh, finish in the back of it. Actually, the entire card looks nice. So, and these will be good grading candidates. Uh, I eventually like to would like to get into a grading submission somehow uh, and see what some of these cards do um, grade-wise. And uh, hopefully they would uh, they'll turn out to be you know high grades. Not looking for gem mints, but you know nine nine fives or like I said, I'm gonna try my hand at PSA. Hopefully eventually sometime down the road. But uh, on to the next one. From what I do all the research online and watching all the other YouTube videos and whatnot, and, uh, it seems PSA is a little easier to get uh, better grades. This is kind of a not so great way to ship a card, but let's double check this one. Uh, 
93.94 Fleer, and this is first year Phenoms, and for the Penny Hardaway. Looks like the centering's a little off, top to bottom. You know, maybe a little, maybe a little off center left to right, but overall corners look like they're pretty good. Service doesn't look too bad, I can tell. And that's the back side. So you'll see in like next video too, or a couple of videos coming forward that we're gonna just kind of keep going on this theme here. And, uh, we'll keep racking up some other stuff too. I do have some other football stuff coming, uh, but right now I'm just getting into the, some of this basketball stuff. That's got another '90s basketball turn, and I remember this set when it came out. It's actually kind of pretty cool looking. This is the die cut version of this one, and it is Kevin Garnett again. Hopefully we can get it out without scratching it. Looks like everything looks, Let's see if you can see and the light will catch it, but it is the UD3 set. And then if you can see through the card, you can see the little, like a photo strip of Kevin. Looks like he's dunking on somebody. But we're going to put them in a sleeve just to keep them safe. Oddly enough, since these are so condition sensitive, being scratched or the corners or edges being all messed up, they're really, this one isn't really all that bad. I'm kind of impressed. And that is from what, 96, 97. I always like those sets. I'm going to definitely try to get my hands on a Jordan for that one as well, too. Yeah, those are always nice to have. And our last package for this this particular video is a not but not last least but a 1990-91 NBA hoops Michael Jordan. This is the base card. Pretty infamous iconic card. Centering's a little off left to right, but not horribly bad. Uh, some corners. All right, service looks okay. Yeah, centering is just a tiny bit off. But in regards to that, nonetheless, a lot better this time around. We didn't get a damaged card, which is nice. It's always nice to get something in the mail that isn't wrecked or ruined on you. But we'll recap this video with the uh, the Jordans that we picked up for this particular time. Uh, obviously, the die the die cut. The cut above insert set, uh, 92 upper deck game faces. We have one almost on the back side. We have a 92, 93 Fleer Ultra, another iconic card. The Stadium Club and the 90s hoop. And with the non Jordans, the Garnet die cut. Second year Phenom, or first year Phenoms, Anthony Hardaway. Hardwood Leaders, Sir Charles. Ultra Power, Carl Malone. Uh, Flare Showcase, Garnett. And last but not least, the Good Looks, Flare Ultra, Grant Hill. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. I want to say thank you for everybody stopping in and checking out and following along. And, um, do me a favor, give the video a like, give us a thumbs up if you can. Um, also, if you like this content, go go to my channel, check out some of the past videos. Um, trying to work on them as I go along, and uh, there'll be more coming in the future. With that being said, go check us out. Peace.